Public Auditor B.J. Cruz is looking forward to J.M.I. Edison taking his decision to court. The OPA threw out the company's appeal involving procurement at the airport. It was supposed to be an issue as to whether the competing company had a required contractor's license, but instead turned into something much bigger that ultimately led to the executive director of the contractor's licensing board submitting his resignation. I'm glad they're going to take him to Superior Court. Public Auditor B.J. Cruz reacts to J.M.I. Edison's announcement that it will appeal to the Superior Court to intervene in a decision by the OPA to dismiss with prejudice its appeal in an airport RFP to baggage services. The contract was awarded to off-island company Menzies. J.M.I. protested the selection, arguing the company didn't have a license from the contractor's license board. Backing up the company was CLB Executive Director Cecile Orsini, who sent over a findings and fact document to the OPA. That document came into question after documents were produced by Menzies, showing an email between JMI and Orsini. JMI's Ed Elow asking a bro to help him out prior to the hearing. But that wasn't the only reason why Cruz dismissed the case. He also cited another instance in which Orsini may have helped another company involved in a separate case before the OPA. This was the 20th of December. The 23rd of December, I get an almost identical document um, filed in this case, and I was fuming. I thought, oh, wow, what is this? They look alike, and I said, all right, fine, that's good. At least now I have an issue. The document was produced by a CLB investigator who also testified in the separate case that in order for a findings and fact document to be issued, by law, it must be approved by a quorum of the board, none of which was done in either cases, according to Cruz. But then when I get the problem that what there isn't a quorum at the board, that their board hasn't met since last September, they're filing... The director's filing documents purporting to be findings of the board in two cases. Um, it's very hard to to believe anything, as I said in my decision. You know, it it just makes it difficult to accept anything from the CLB. Leading the OPA to determine that in the JMI case, it was a bro just helping out another bro. I guess I was getting too cute in my my decision. But but it, it just bothered me that you could reach out to someone like that and ask to have something signed. As we reported, JMI defended its use of the word bro as just an island way of speaking in open communications, adding that the OPA did not give them an opportunity to defend themselves. Today, it was announced that Department of Public Works Deputy Director Linda Ibanez was appointed as acting executive director of the CLB. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tyler Matsunani.